please enjoy hundreds of my video lectures on telecom and wireless please do not forget to subscribe to my channel please also like my videos please share my channel with your friends and colleagues thank you in this chapter let us look at handover in details initially we will deal with hand off overview what is hand off why hand off and what are the reasons for hand off etc in the next module we will look at different types of hand off briefly on intra bsc inter bsc and inter msc next we will move on to four specific types of hand off namely idle hand off soft softer and hard hand off after that we'll look at the process of pilot searching and how is it related to hand off decisions a soft hand off scenario for a mobile and finally we'll round it off with a cdma hand off process call flow therefore over to head off in greater detail let us have an overview of head off what is head off head off is a process by which a mobile station maintains communications with the mobile telephone switching office popularly known as msc when traveling from the coverage area of one base station to that of another base station okay can we define head off as a mobile travels through a cellular network it leaves one cell and enters another one the hand off is a transfer of call control from one base station to another one the objective is to maintain communication to the mobile throughout its movement between any number of cells without dropping the call okay why hand off hand offs keep the call established during the following condition the subscriber crosses the boundaries of a cell the subscriber experiences noise or other interference above a specified threshold within the same cell or a base station component experiences an out of service condition during a call in these three situations a hand off is absolutely necessary otherwise a call will be dropped let's look at uh, some of the reasons for hand off there are several of them encryption going from a network that is encrypted to another network that is public or vice versa hand off also becomes necessary when frequency bands are changed or when cdma channel is changed or the system id or the network id is changed hand off also is essential when the mobile is changing standard revision protocol revision on the bts changing of radio technology from cdma to amps also will necessitate hand off if the received signal strength falls below a defined threshold and the mobile finds another pilot which has got more strength it will definitely request for a hand off and the hand off is also necessary when balancing the load maybe there are too many subscribers in one cell or one sector and maybe they have to be redeployed hand off is necessary when maintenance requirement or a hardware failure occurs within a particular cell these are some of the conditions in which hand off becomes necessary how many hand off phases are there hand off consists of three phases one is hand off initiation target selection and hand off completion we will see the mechanism of hand off in greater detail in the next few slides hi guys hope you have enjoyed this video before you leave this please ensure that you are subscribing to this also please do like these videos and share it amongst your friends and colleagues there are plenty of other videos and i hope you will be able to find time to browse through all these things thank you